Now, the first step, if you're able to launch the game, you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game, but if you're able to launch the game, you can skip cutscenes. If that does not work, turn off ray tracing and then check. So to escape the cutscenes, uh, you can press the space key or you can press the button B on the controller. So press the B button and you can skip. And that should help you. To turn off ray tracing, you can go to the game. So you can go to settings and over here uh, you can see ray tracing. If ray tracing is on, turn it off. Now the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties. In the launch option, type in dash DX11. Now you can close this, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, this time you can try dash DX12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to epic games launcher user you can restart epic games launcher or you can update epic games launcher so if you have the game on epic games launcher go to your profile icon then go to settings over here and over here if you see restart and update or install service now just do it restart and update and then check or if the game if the epic game launcher is already up to date you can just exit Epic Games Launcher and then relaunch and then check. Now the next step is to uh, now to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option for Epic Games Launcher user. You can go to profile icon, then go to settings, and then scroll down. At the end, you will see the see your Chronos game. My in my case, I don't have it. I have um, the game on Steam. So you can just click on the game and then put a check on additional command line arguments over here. Type in dash DX11. And then you can launch the game. If that does not work, you can even try dash DX12, launch the game and then check. Still not working, remove this, uncheck this, follow the next step. Now the next step is to rename the config folder. When you rename the config folder, all the saved settings will be gone. To rename the config folder, you can go to File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder, now open your username folder, now open app data folder. If you don't see app data at the top, top click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder, open the local folder and find the Kronos folder and then open save folder. Here you can see config folder, make a right click, rename it and now you can launch the game. When you launch the game, it may build the shaders, uh, it, it may compile the shaders once again and then check. If that does not work, rename the save game files. When you rename the save game files, all the save game progress will be lost. So create a backup first. And if you agree, you can go to the same location and this is the location. And here you can see Kronos folder. You can just copy this folder, create a backup. Once you have a backup created over here, now you can rename this folder. All the save game progress will be lost. You have to start everything from scratch. So once you rename it, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to verify the game files. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game. If you have the game on Epic Games Launcher, in that case, I don't have the game, so I'm showing you a different game. So find the game, Kronos game, and then click on the three dots, and then click on Manage, and then you will see the Verify option, Verify the game, you verify the game files, and then check. Next step is to run the game from the Game Installation folder. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select Manage, click on Browse Local Files. Epic Games Launcher can click over here, and then Manage, and then you can click on this folder icon. This will take you to the Game Installation folder, and then Make a double click over here, launch the game from here. If that does not work, uh, you can open Kronos folder, binaries, Win64. Over here, you can see the game exe file. Make a double click on game exe file and then launch the game from here. If that does not work, make a right click on the game exe file and then go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK. Make a double click, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, go to properties once again. This time, put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, you can even try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK. Still not working, disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now, the next step is to 
if you're using any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, Windows security, then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app browser apps, and then go to the game installation folder, open the game folder, Select the game exe file, click on open. Again, click on add and allow app browser apps. Open this folder, binaries, Win64. Select this exe file, click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box, open control panel. System and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Change settings, allow another app. Click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again. Open the game folder. Select the game exe file, click on open, click on add. In my case, it is already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse, and this time open Kronos binaries Win64. Select this exe file, click on open, and then click on add. Once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game. So add both the game exe file to your antivirus program as well. Next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So you can select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card, your operating system, then click on start search. The very first driver at the uh, top, you will see the latest graphic card driver. Click on get download, click on download now, and then you can run this exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, click on yes to allow, then click on okay, and then click on agree and continue. Select custom option over here, click on next, and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, then click on next. Make sure that you put a check over here first and then next. And then once done, restart your computer. Restart is a must. After the system restart, launch the game. Still not working. Uh, for AMD card users, uh, uninstall, uh, uninstall the current graphic card driver. Restart your computer. Install the latest graphic card driver from the AMD website. Select your graphic card. And then uh, after you install it, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings over here. Click on add desktop app. Go to the game installation folder, open the game folder, select the exe file, click on add. Over here you can see the game, click on the game and then over here select high performance. Again, click on add desktop app, open Kronos folder binaries, Win64, select the game exe file, click on add. Again, click on the game, select high performance over here. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, try power saver mode. Now for this type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound, go to power options. Now over here, in my case, I have only balanced, but in your case, you will see power saver. So if you see power saver, select power saver and then relaunch the game. You can even go for balanced or high performance, but first of all, try power saver and check which one is working fine for you. Now, the next step is to increase the virtual memory. Now for this, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box, and then click on view advanced system settings. Click on it, and then under advanced, click on the first settings, advanced, change, uncheck this box, put a check on custom over here, select custom. And now before you make changes, let me inform you, if this does not work, we can always revert to default. So for me, uh, this is working fine for me. So you can try this. If, that, if this does not work, you can just put a check over here and we will go to default. Now, for initial size, 1.5 multiplied total RAM. You can check total RAM on your computer. You can go to system, go to about option over here. And then in my case, it's 16 gigabyte. So you have to calculate as per your RAM. So in my case is 16 multiplied 1024. In, we will convert this to megabyte first and then multi for initial size multiplied 1.5. That is 24576. For maximum size three multiplied total RAM. Total RAM in my case is 16 megabyte uh, gigabyte multiplied 1024 in megabyte multiplied three. That is 49152. And now you have to click on set. Set is important. Click on set and then click on OK. Apply, OK, OK. And then launch the game. If that does not work, restart your computer once and then check. Now still not working, then type in view advanced system settings once again in Windows search box. 
and then click on view advanced system settings settings advanced change and this time select system manage size and then click on set set is important click on ok ok apply ok ok restart the computer and then launch the game still not working type in view advanced system settings once again we will revert to default so again settings advanced change put a check over here click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to install visual c++ file now for this you can search in google install visual c++ file you can go to the official microsoft website on this website scroll down here you can see the visual studio file you have to install this x86 and x64 so click on x86 file and you can run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well again run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete once done restart the computer after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version so open windows settings go to windows update or update and security click on check for update once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then check still not working the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the bios next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer which you are not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect extra controller connected to the computer disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game if you have any other overlay application running like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay go to nvidia app settings turn off nvidia overlay so close all the overlay application after you turn off overlay now do not overclock if you have overclocked set it to default close all the overclocking application like if you have msi after burner rewrite tuner or any other overclocking application running close it close all the third party services and application if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can just uninstall the game after you uninstall the game go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel